uh, what we want to do is add a header and that's just a section title for this for this page let people know and um, like search engines and things like that they'll know uh, they'll read the header and they'll know what the page is about it helps the, the, the search engines understand what's what that section of your page is about and, and it also helps other people when they're reading it and we're gonna add that to do that we just type our title and then we're gonna change it from just basic paragraph text to uh, header text so I'm gonna type uh, just like welcome to my site enter and I'm just gonna highlight it just like you do anything and if you go down to the property inspector where it says format it says paragraph right now we're gonna change it from paragraph to heading one and once we did that the formatting changed and it bolded it and, and, and made it larger and so now we have our heading it says welcome to our site and then I'm just gonna type some text here um, just I don't know this site was created to share news about UFOs uh, thank you for visiting my site okay can't type okay and so there's our our page our home page looks nice you know so I said we have our header we have a little two-line paragraph we have a banner we have a little link that's not linked yet <laughs> and um, so it's cool so we're gonna check it out in the browser so you can see how that works first thing you want to do is always save uh, so we're gonna control s command s if you're on a uh, Mac and click this here it'll show all the usually all of the browsers that you have installed on your computer and you just pick one if you have 12 that'll load up your default browser mine's is set up to open Firefox but I'm gonna use Internet Explorer and so I click preview it opens up and that's how it looks in a browser so you know it's pretty pretty cool so far but we're gonna keep building on it and, and making it better and using different things that so you guys can understand how it all works so I'm gonna close that out and the next thing we want to do is we're gonna add what's called a rollover image uh, a rollover image is usually what you'll see on a website uh, it's used mainly or not mainly but a lot of times for menu buttons and what happens is it looks one way and then when you move your mouse over it to click it it changes its properties change and it looks different and so we're gonna have one of those and we're also gonna make that a link that connects to an external address we're just gonna connect it to Google and so to do that um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click right before you have all news click space I'm gonna add a hyphen and then a space I'm gonna put the button right there and so what I want to do is I'm gonna go up to images we're gonna insert images and click the drop down go to rollover image click that a little box is gonna pop up and what do you want to call your image is the name this is the name of that button and I want to call it Google button the original image we're gonna go get it and this is the image that that your viewer will see when they go to the page so you want to go to Google button one if you have the uh, project files or use whatever you want still it'll still work click OK then the rollover image is the image they see as they hover over it with their with their pointer and that's Google button two or any other image that you want to use and then leave preloaded click alternate text again is if it doesn't work or show up what do you want to be there we're gonna leave that blank but again when you're doing your site always fill that in it's just good practice click OK it says when click go to this URL we're gonna leave that blank because we're gonna we're gonna make some changes later I'm gonna show you how you can do this another way also so I'll click OK and there's our button you can click out of it and it shows up right now it doesn't do anything because it's you know we're it's not set up it's just the document window if we do live view it'll show it or if we preview it in a browser it'll show but for now it won't usually in the document window things that like that won't you won't be able to check it out but it's there and it looks it looks pretty cool now if we click it go down to property inspector uh, you'll see all of this different information about that that element and down here at the link what we want to do is we're gonna link this to Google and so in the link this is where you always would type the page that you want this link to go to or the site or address that you want it to go to and so we're gonna link it to Google HTTP colon slash slash www.google.com ok 
okay another thing we'll do is down here at target we're gonna click blank and what that'll do is when a person clicks on this button it'll open up another tab and bring up Google and that way our they don't leave our page our site still will still stay up so, so we want to keep that set up and just click out of it and we can go ahead and uh, and check it out well actually let's let's make one more link and then we'll check them both out at the same time so click down right in front of your paragraph hit enter twice and we're gonna make an email link and this is a link where once someone clicks on it it'll open up their email client and pre-populate the to address with our email address and that way someone can email us and to do that what we're gonna do is we're just gonna type email what you want to do is uh, double click highlight it down in link you to type mail to and what that does is let the let Dreamweaver know to uh, make this an email link colon and then your email address you want to type Trent at the UFO lookout dot com and once I click out of it as you see we have a white email link that should bring up an email client and allow someone you know like Outlook or Thunderbird and allow uh, a viewer to email us contact us and we're pretty much set up let's go ahead and create our second page also and then that way we'll be able to to get working on that in a second so go ahead and uh, file new create we have our second page uh, set up ready to go and we're just gonna leave it out because I want to preview our first page make sure everything looks cool so save it preview it and there we go uh, allow block and let's check out our rollover button and there you go see once you hover over it that, that's pretty cool and then our email and if you could if you look down at the bottom at the information that information window information window the uh, it tells you the email address and it says mail to so you know that it'll work once you click it and just to check out that Google button if you click that there we go Google opens up it's all ready everything looks good okay let's get back to the document let's keep it going we have our second page set up and what we're going to do is we're going to save that. The first thing you always want to do is save it. And we're going to call this uh, UFO News. Save. And we're going to give it a title. I like that title that we just used, UFO News. So let's just use the same title. Okay. and we need a heading now on this page we're not going to do all the things we did on the other page we're going to save some of that so that we can uh, make some of those changes a different way later on so we're just going to call it uh, type the title of the page again for the heading well, not news we're going to call it UFO news UFO news and let's go ahead and Format that with the heading one. All right, got our change looks nice. Hit enter. And what we need is a link back to our other page because we need a way to. Once you're on this page, how do you get back to your home page? So we need a link that gets us back there. And so let's add a link, and we're going to call it home page plain enough right and now we're gonna link this page to our other page now to do that what you do is you highlight that and down here at link instead of typing the link we're just gonna link it to a to another page on our website what you can do is you click this browse but this little browse icon and you go to your first page and we, we named it first web page you click OK and now in link that page is there if you click off of it and there's our link and that'll link us to our first page and now what we're going to do is do the same thing we get back to this page and remember before we we rewrote out UFO news here we're going to go ahead and make that a link now that we have another page to link it to and we're going to do the same thing click the little icon the browse UFO news click OK and there you go and now we're, we we look pretty good. Uh, let's go back to the second page. We're going to add a few more things. I want to add a horizontal rule. 
to section it off and make it nice and pretty and organized. Next, over, enter, and then uh, we're going to give it another title here. Uh, let's type, these are pictures of UFOs. Enter, and we're going to insert images that we have in our, our project files. And you can insert whatever you have, but we have them, so we're going to use them. Insert image and UFO one. Okay. We're going to leave that blank. Click out of that. Enter, and we're going to add one more. UFO two. Okay, um, and let's go ahead and save that and preview it. Save, preview, and there we go. UFO news, we have our homepage link. These are pictures of UFOs. And actually, there's something we forgot. We forgot to give that, these are pictures of UFOs, a heading tag, or change that from paragraph to heading. And the reason we want to do that is because we want... Uh, people viewing this page to know that this is a section title. We want uh, the search engines to understand that that's a section title. And so we're going to go back and change that really quick. Oh, and we're just going to highlight it. Go down to paragraph. We're going to change the heading 2 because we have a heading 1 and this is under that. And so we're going to change it to 2 and it still gave it a little bit of a, some oomph but you know not as much. And now let's try it again. Save, preview, there we go. That looks better. And now we're going to test it out. Let's click home page so we get back. Look at that. Back to our home page. And for some reason, huh? Let me let me see what I maybe I did something wrong here. Let's go back. Oh, I made the change, but as you can see right here, guys, I I didn't save it. This little star indicates that this document has been changed and hasn't been saved. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. So I made the change to the link and didn't save it. I'm going to go back, preview it. Okay, there we go. So we have our link, our email, everything looks good. And so we're all set for today. And on our next video, we're going to get into CSS formatting and how do you make a lot of the changes we made today using just CSS. Uh, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.